Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Silla Stuff and Things. Tonight we are natural in our natural environment and we are cooking sloppy joes because I posted a picture a few months ago on Instagram and you guys have blown my inbox up wanting to know my recipe. So here you go. You're going to see me just doing my thing. Kids are going to be walking in and out. Whatever happens, happens. Thankfully we can edit. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's get cooking. First up, I went ahead and cut up my bell pepper. I'm doing all the colors of the rainbow tonight and I cut two onions. So it really depends on um, if you guys want to have certain colors. I did red, orange, green, yellow, and then two small yellow onions. So I just put some olive oil in the pan. We're gonna drop all of this in the pan. It's on like a medium heat and we're just going to saute this. We're also gonna add some garlic. Now don't be judging me on my garlic. I do buy the already minced garlic because you know, it saves time and it's just as good. So that's what we do. Comment down below and let me know. Are you guys like sloppy Joe people? We were not until I found this recipe. I'm gonna have Asa throw the measurements up on the screen for me, but honestly, guys, I don't follow a recipe. I just kind of do it by taste. So you you will see me later on. I will adjust according to taste on my end. So you can omit or add anything you would like. So we just need to let this cook down some, and then we will throw our ground beef in here. So tonight I'm doubling our recipe because we have six of us here and then my in-laws might stop over for some dinner so i have two pounds of ground beef i got lean because we're trying to watch that figure not really that's all they had <laughs> sounds good though but we're gonna take our two pounds of ground beef when you have helpers that want to come in the kitchen you have to put them to work you gonna stir come here can you come stir this? No? Okay, you can't grab anything. Pro tip in our kitchen, I'm using bell peppers and sweet peppers tonight. Abby loves these, so I just set them out on the counter. So when she walks by, she doesn't steal my food. So she has these ready for her. Alrighty, we have our meat is brown. Um, we went ahead and drained a little bit off. It wasn't a lot because it's lean. Now I'm going to add in some tomato sauce. Now, like I said, I was doubling this recipe. You're gonna use about eight ounces for one batch. I'm gonna use 16, so. I gotta know, are you guys a hand can opener user or do you have a automatic? Is this an automatic one? I don't know what they call it. She's just gonna pour that in there. Looks about right. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of tomato paste. That much. And we're gonna mix this around and see if we need to add some more of anything so far. Yeah, see, I wanna add more tomato paste. I mean, tomato sauce. I'm adding the whole can. That's why I said I don't follow a recipe. This is my recipe the way I like it. <laughs> and then start putting in your seasonings. So we're gonna use Worcestershire. We are gonna use mustard, the real stuff. Some pepper. Red pepper flakes. Not a lot, don't get crazy, especially if you have kids. Now, I'm going to add some of this salt. So one of my um, girlfriends that I work with, with Lime Life, actually sent this to me. It's an infused sea salt sampler. I will link it down below. I'm pretty sure she got it off Amazon. So I'll link it down below. It's been so much fun. I'm gonna use the garlic medley sea salt and it comes with this little spoon that you can just dish in there like that. 
like so. How fun is that, right? So it has six different um, options. Are you guys hungry? Uh -huh. And then some ground mustard. Granulated garlic. Now, you have to put in your brown sugar and your ketchup. That's what makes this so different. I bought a brand new ketchup. So there we go. Again, I'll have Asa kind of put the, the lax <laughs> um, ingredients or measurements up. Brown sugar, probably about two tablespoons like that. We're gonna mix all of this together and we will do our first taste test to see what we need to add. Mm. Tastes like sloppy joes. What does it need? Maybe some onion powder? A little dash. <laughs> Some more ketchup. We're gonna drop that heat down. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my spoon. Ketchup is throwing me off. Why? I don't know. It's just throwing me off. Also, it goes in it sloppy good? joes. Mm hmm. You didn't know that one in Sloppy mm -hmm. Joe's? You're ruined, aren't you? No. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, don't it's good. Don't display me as a picky eater. I'm not a picky eater. Summer's family's like, oh, she's a picky eater. I'm like, not anymore. If she was before, she's not I now. I haven't lived at home in almost five years. <laughs> <laughs> I've done, been doing life, but they still, my mom's like, you sure you want to have that on your sandwich? I'm like, woman, I got this. <gasps> Now Paige is my picky eater this week, right Paige? Yes ma'am. And she's like, and I own it. <laughs> I am who I am. So those are all of my ingredients. I mean, now you just let it simmer and get happy. Oh, we haven't heard that in a while. Um, let it get happy. You could put a lid on it if you want. You don't have to put a lid. And then you're just gonna put it on. I like to typically get the buns from the deli or the bakery, but they didn't have any this week. So I had to grab these, which these look fun. They're like honey, honey buns. Not the, not the sweet honey buns, but just honey hamburger buns. So you could do it without a bun if you want. Um, you could do it open face and have like two separate sandwiches almost where you put it on both sides. There's just so many options, you guys. So. That is my Sloppy Joe recipe. That's it. All right, so this is where you can do what you wanna do. We're gonna do open face both sides. Take your Sloppy Joe mixture and go over the top. You probably need a different serving spoon. Abby's so excited. She loves this. Our microwave is spazzing out. Okay, this is Ace's plate, so we're gonna go a little extra, a little extra, give him a little extra loving. And then he likes cheese on his. So I'm just gonna take a little cheese. Get fancy with it, like that. I made a salad. I'll probably be the only one to eat the salad. And then we have corn, so it's kind of a weird combination, but you know, comment down below, what would you have with it? Probably French fries is like a good thing, maybe hash browns, but that's what we're having. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Let me know, did you like this kind of video? It's kind of laid back, you know, family's here, but um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so, and we will see you next time. Bye guys.